something happens. You went to church. Testimony night. Yes, you feel me? Yes. Dominating yes. everywhere. Excuse we are already late. Wow. <laughs> oh god. Fresh is hurry up. Mummy has already dressed up since five o'clock. Please, please. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Okay. Eh? Yes. But this is what was time now. This is five fifty-six. Our just video still. May the good Lord have mercy upon you. See you guys at Testimony Night. A big shout out to Praise Rukeme and Mine for being the first three people to comment on my last video. If you want to get a video shout out, make sure you click the bell. Make sure you like this video physically. <laughs> Testimony night, you see, it's my baby. You see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why will you go past the red and go still talk about you? You better make you hold your pass so they go talk about you. This particular Saturday, I woke up with my body very paralyzed. No, like, seriously, I froze. Quite serious, what motivated me to do this vlog? Comfort was so super hyped. I don't know why she was so super hyped that morning. I don't know why I wasn't feeling it. I didn't even want to like do this video at all. But life has been life. 400 level has been his life. Like I've been going through like fire. I'm just so happy I've not been consumed. I feel like I've not done anything yet. I place a lot of effort. I couldn't even comprehend. I mean, well, I do a lot, and it feels like I've not done anything. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if you understand what I mean. But at the end of it all, I don't do anything because I overthink it. In short, today I didn't even go for choir rehearsals because I was overthinking. But here, my Angelo are just me keeping me going through, like, so I don't get so burned through the furnace. People just see what they see. People don't know what you are actually going through. 
I'm just grateful to God for everything so far. I'm happy. There's a place in you that you must keep inviolate. You must keep it pristine, clean, so that nobody has the right to curse you or treat you badly. Nobody, no mother, father, no wife, no husband, no, nobody. Because that may be the place you go to when you meet God. You have to have a place with, that you say, stop it. Back up. Not you must you not know. No. Absolutely. And that's one I told you 25 years ago. Yes. Say no when it's no. Yeah. Say so. Back it up. Because that place has to remain clean and clear. And that has to be a place within yourself. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I, I always wanted to be a writer. I accomplished this thing. I, I could make a living being a writer. I have a home. Like, I haven't been there in weeks. Like, why am I here? And, and I was like, I was here because like, I just said yes. And I didn't think about like, I didn't, I didn't actually weigh like the pros and cons of this scenario. And again, it's like, sometimes you got to do what you don't want to do to figure out what you want to do. But it, it was like, I, I'd sort of distanced myself from a lot of things and I'd gotten, gotten my life in a good place. And then someone called me and offered me money on the phone and I said, yes, like, right. because it's so hard to say, like, it's so hard to, to say no to stuff. Like, especially if you're like a doer, it's so hard to say like, I want to do this, but I also want to do that. I have to choose. Right. It's easy to say like, I'm going to try to do both at the same time. And I said yes to both. Like, I don't, I don't think I've ever like quit anything. Like I've just added new stuff. Right. And so for me, that certainly has added up over time to an unsustainable load. I have to learn how to say no to things I don't want to do. And that's a big mature moment when you start to begin to do that. But the bigger mature moment is when you learn how to say no to things you do want to do because you know that you just don't have time. That sometimes you, you have to turn down even the wonderful things in order to take care of your health um, or, or to take care of what you truly, truly, truly care about, not just what you truly care about. It's in your life. I ain't gonna be nothing like my life. Where's my dear? And blessing cooking show. Blessing what? Chef on what? Flame. On flame. Yeah. Man.
just found out the sunset. It makes me to reminisce things that have happened so far in my life. If you're watching this, be grateful. Be grateful. I'm so grateful for things and people God has placed in my life. Just remember, this too shall pass.